this is uh, Go Know Yourself or How Dr. Strange Love is one of the greatest movies ever. So um, I'm called Droogie. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, I'm a degenerate. Uh, greets to the to the degens. Uh, no mercy, but little pocket dans and Ilyas. All right. No. Um, I hack things for how active. I also want to say greets to the old school uh, telefreakers. Uh, since back in '92, since I've been living between payphone to payphone, they've helped me out. So. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, why this talk? Um, so I was hanging out with uh, my buddy Far, and we were talking about like uh, stupid, you know, famous hacker tales. So you go to cons, and people tell you these so these stories, and half the time you're like, whatever, it's bullshit. Other times it's totally lols. Uh, a lot of times it's victims of uh, weird computer bugs, and um, sometimes it's totally real situations, and there's victims of these these bugs from unexpected data, but it's totally valid data. And we kind of had questions about can you, can you use totally valid data in these scenarios and get unexpected results and may, maybe profitable uh, lulzy results, who knows. So some observations. Um, everyone's seen this before. Um, yeah, it's a license plate cameras. Uh, it's, uh, you know, somebody uh, attempting to do a SQL injection with a license plate. Nah. Uh, it's clearly a joke, like that it, it wouldn't work. I'm sorry to tell you, it would not work. Um, but it does bring up some good points because are these people actually thinking about, you know, that data as being like an attack surface? Um, who knows? But but yeah, a little skeptic about it. And um, yeah, this is a super uh, sketch company. I just threw this in here to kind of call them out. Uh, it's basically big data analytics, and they're uh, they're a surveillance network on like all U.S. citizens. They do like sketchy heat maps and stuff, and monitor all, all uh, license plate data and everything. So, um, yeah, you can look up their manual and see some some weird stuff if you're interested. But here's an example: like uh, they they leaked their man or somebody leaked their manual, and you can see like how cops will go ahead and search data up about people, and it will query like various ALPR databases, uh, the DMV, all sorts of stuff. So, uh, getting on to FOIA, it's the Freedom of Information Act. Basically, lets you uh, request data from uh, federal agencies and uh, FAR is uh, FOIA, dude. So, uh, he went ahead and, um, you know, explained some of it to me. He kind of gave a few little tips, like, just so you know, if, you're, if you are going to FOIA some stuff, um, they're, they're not going to go ahead and get something that they don't have. You can't just say like go go fetch. Like if if they have it, they'll give it to you. But they're not going to go get something that you want, that you want that they don't have, right? And also ask for electronic delivery because uh, it can it can cost some money depending on what you're requesting. But you can read more about it at your heart's content. But basically, uh, he went ahead and did a FOIA request to the Seattle Police Department LPR database. And uh, in this database, I think it was like 80 gigs or 100 gigs or something. Uh, had all sorts of shit. Um, all the images, um, all the location data for the car that was scanned, for the car that did the scanning, uh, the OCR data for when it analyzed the uh, image, and other other weird anomalies and stuff that we'll we'll get back to later. Um, and they stripped some some sensitive stuff, you know, like about like hot cars and whatnot, but they, they forgot a few things, you know, like it's not really important things like credentials and stuff's no big deal. But um you know. uh but here's an example on a on a cop car, you know, those those are the cameras and they'll be scanning plates. So another observation is uh Mr. Knoll. So this is some dude and that's his surname, believe it or not. And um he there's an article up there you can you can just Google and he had issues like purchasing plane tickets and you know people were kind of skeptic like you know this guy's full of it. Um, it makes you wonder like is this a one-off issue? Did, like did this happen back in 92 with OG Telefreak or did this happen you know in 2019? Um, it you know there's a huge difference like it, would it happen today? And um, and why did it cause a bug? The the value null is different than the string null so what the fuck, right? And um, it's kind of crazy. So, um, yeah, sorry, a little bit of cringe. Well, I had to throw it in there. So, 
Uh, so I, I think the null story is real, personally, um, because I see data validation issues every single day, and computers are hard. So I think edge cases like this still exist, and um, made us kind of wonder, you know, are there any other types of uh, areas where we could provide data like this and maybe cause issues or interesting outcomes, um, even though it's totally valid. And uh, just a, a small note. This is all fake that I'm telling you. Like this, the way the story is going. In reality, I just wanted to register a cool plate, and I'm going to pretend like I did it in this order. Just FYI. Um, but in the United States, we can uh, make vanity license plates, and there's some rules. They can't be vulgar, uh, sexual stuff like that, and you can't misre misrepresent law enforcement. So you can't be like FBI or something. Um, and there's some examples of some cringy plates, and. Um, yeah, Texas Pride. So, so let's register a plate, right? Um, you now, got a DMV website. Check if uh, Noel was there. See, in reality, I was like looking for cool stuff, like, you know, um, I don't know, Sig Fault, right? Like Noel Pointer, and and then I was like, oh fuck, Noel, I should look that. And um, it was available, and I, I expected the DMV site to just like not allow it and crash or error or something, because it's a government website. Um, but uh, but no, like no bugs happen. It said you're registered. Like wait, wait, and we're gonna mail a plate to you. And cool, let's let's wait. And there it is. So it's pretty cute. It's a pretty cool plate, right? And um, so uh, profit. Um, is it possible to be invisible citations? Maybe will a cop go ahead and uh, try to try to scan me, and it will say like enter real data, enter you know, like you must enter something other than null. Like I don't I don't know. Like um, if they wrote a ticket, would it break something? I have no idea, but like time will tell. We'll see if I get a ticket or not. But so unforeseen consequences. Uh, a beer to the first person who calls out the. Uh, the little Easter egg there, the reference. Who said that? Come get the beer. Come get the beer. I don't have a beer. I'll get it later. Um, but yeah, Half Life's the shit. Good man. Uh, so I didn't get a ticket for like a year because I'm a good boy. And um, we, uh, my registration renewal came up. So you go to the CA uh, DMV website, says enter the last five year event, enter your license plate, like easy enough. And oops, it broke. So, <laughs> so I was able to register the plate and get it, but I can't re-register. And uh, of course, I'm just like, shit, shit. I have to go to the DMV. Like, no one wants to go to the DMV. Uh, like, people who say like the DMV is not a big deal, they're they're cuckoo. Like, when you live in LA, the, the DMV, that's a, your whole day. So, um, but luckily, I was able to use a reference number. I didn't have to go and I registered it. But, but cool. So. Uh, later on, I ended up getting a ticket. So I go ahead and I grab it off my windshield, and it says null on it. Shit, you know. Uh, has a citation number. It has some info for me to go ahead and pay the ticket, and I, I went ahead and paid it like a sucker, you know. And um, and clearly my predictions are wrong. Like there were no issues. I, I did get a ticket, uh, but at least I have the cool plate, right? So about a week later, I, I open up the mailbox and I have a grip of envelopes, and uh, open them up, and there's a lot of citations. <laughs> um, yeah, and they're they're all addressed to me, but um, well, like I didn't know I had a, a Honda, Toyota, Porsche, a Mercedes, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm living big, right? So. Um, so my prediction was really wrong because right because when we went in there it's like oh I'm 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 not gonna be able to get a ticket I'm the shit like I'm invisible but but instead I got all the tickets <laughs> so <laughs> so it's, yeah yay so this company that I had to go and pay and and you look up the ticket number is Citation Processing Center so it's a private company they happen to be based out of Newport Beach California which is a total coincidence I got my ticket in Newport Beach and. And I was like, why am I giving money to like a PO box? And I was super weirded out. Turns out they, they're stationed there, and I drive past them all the time and didn't realize. Um, you know, sketchy, basically collection agency for the government. And um, you can go on their site and you can do a query for 
a plate and a state. So I go ahead and query for my plate in the state of California. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fun. Yeah. So so I call him up and you know at, at this point it's still fun, right? I'm like, oh it's a bug. My wife's pissed. So <laughs> like you know, she she thinks like I'm actually gonna pay the money. She, you know, <laughs> she's like, oh, and uh, so I call this guy, and and of course, total dick. I'm like, hey, I need a, I got a, I got a great story for you. Give me your citation number. No, no, man, like this is more involved. Give me your citation number. Okay, um, which one? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I go ahead and um, I gave him everything, and um, he basically says, how do I know these aren't all you? <laughs> And, and he wants me to like show him all my registration history and mail everything back. I'm like, oh, I'm not mailing shit back to you. I'm keeping all this. This is evidence of your mess up. And um, it just didn't go well. So you know, my response was basically, "Fuck off." Like, we're done here. Is that ten? Oh, perfect. Yeah. And um, so uh, after our discussion, I'm telling my wife about it. I go ahead and. I'm, I'm trying to explain to her. Look, it's uh, like this is ridiculous. Like, uh, you know, like Cypress College. I, I don't go to Cypress College. Like, there's a, there's a plate or there's a car that got a ticket at 11:30 a.m. There's a different car that got a ticket at 1 p.m. Like, it's clearly not me. The guy thinks that I can change my registration fast enough, but clearly it wasn't me. I'm not worried about it. But after the call, I, I I go to show her. Look, here's the here's the one that I have physically that was mailed to me. You know, I don't know if you can read it, but it says it's a Honda plate null and I go look look I'll, I'll bring it up now it says it's an infinity and it has my VIN number Ooh. so they changed the data to uh, basically make me look guilty for these tickets um, because I did tell the guy I don't drive a Honda I drive an infinity so so now uh, their whole database basically points at me not all of them but a lot of them so uh, are there any lawyers here because I'm <laughs> I don't know if I have legal footing um but basically um this is bullshit um I don't know I like I don't I don't know the the impact right um does this sync with the police department does this sync with the DMV um are there bench warrants for my arrest am I is my license going to get suspended I have no idea right so um, it, it also opens up a, a ton of questions too, like potential for misconduct. Why, why does an, a random employee have right access to this? You know, a cop writes a ticket, sends it to them. What happens if it's a disgruntled ex and they just decide to load up their ex with tickets? And you're just guilty. Like there's nothing. Um, can you social them? Can you get them, nah, that's, that's an off by one. You know, it was actually a zero, not a one. Like, yeah, like who knows, like, it's, it's ridiculous though, right? So uh, there's poor solutions. So I, I went to the LAPD and I said, hey man, this is the situation. The guy's just like looking at me. I'm like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I said, change your plate. I said, I said, no. I didn't do anything wrong. So I called the DMV. They said, ah, we don't deal with citations. We only suspend you if somebody asks us to. But you should change your plate. I said, no. I didn't do anything wrong. So I called the citation processing center again and they just said you better prove without a doubt that these hundreds of citations are not yours. Also you should change your plate. <laughs> so I hung up, right? So I, so I sent this tweet out, I don't know if you can read it, but I basically said thanks CA DMV, you idiots. Like nobody, nobody has a, a good solution. And, you know, it's back when there were gun emojis, you know, so I sent like a different message. But uh, Apple changed it, so now I'm like squirting myself with a squirt gun. It's a little silly if you go look at it now, but but they actually responded to me, which is crazy. Um, I don't know if it's a PR company or something, but um, they contacted this company and they actually voided out a bunch of old tickets and they were, uh, they ended up sending me an email. And she's like, hey, I'm getting this taken care of. Um, I just need you to tell me which ones are actually yours. So yeah, and um, 
so they didn't actually fix the issue though. They just voided out, and so it's zero dollars. But but then it just started climbing back up, of course. Right. So uh, what are some uh, future possibilities? Um, so clearly there's a total lack of like data entry um, standards. Like it's just retarded. So. I started going like like no cop is riding up to a car and going oh there's no plate I'm gonna put null like and so I thought what what is a totally like valid plate that that would do this oh what about missing that's a, that's a valid license plate you could register that so I search search in their database for the word missing tickets what about none tickets no tags tickets no plate tickets so thank you. So uh yeah you can um you can be just like me. <laughs> <See you. laughs> yeah. and there's an article down there um it's about this guy uh he got no plate back in like the 70s and he's been like fighting the good fight for like forever and he goes to court and he's just like oh, it wasn't me and uh, yeah but there's an article about it. Uh so going back to the the to the ALPR data. So um as you can see um the the cop cars when they're driving around Seattle they kind of read like everything sides of buildings random construction signs so there's another one what happens if you register the plate Nissan Jeep I don't know um, and there's some other anomalies so you can see there's a ton of variations of the word police so it's clearly you know reading the sides of cop cars so if somebody in the Seattle area wants to try this. Um, you, you know, you can't impersonate a, a police officer, but maybe you can talk to, you know, a lady at the DMV and explain how you're a huge fan of the the band Police, and get P O L one C three or something, and uh, drive over the 520 bit bridge and tell me if you get a toll. That's the only thing I'm interested in. Like, I'm curious, like, <laughs> like, like, is this like uh, like a whitelist? Like, they get so many of them, they're just like, ah, fuck it, just just you know, remove it. Um, but anyways, a quick summary. Um, basically, I still get tickets in the mail and stuff. I still have my dope plate, and uh, my total is currently at six thousand dollars. Um, oh yeah, yeah. So breaking news, breaking news. So last night, my wife texted me a picture because before I'm telling all these people this, like, like I'm gonna sue the shit out of them, or I'm, I'm gonna get a boat, and. Um, <laughs> And they're like, they're like, you idiot, like, like nothing, this is like some, some flaw, like it'll get fixed. It's not real. Like the, the money's not real. Like this isn't an issue yet. And my wife sends me a picture last night and I got a thing in the mail from the DMV and it's time to re-register my, my vehicle again. And uh, they want me to pay some tickets before I re-register. So I'm in, the, I'm in a sticky situation now because I'm not paying those tickets. And uh, but my registration expires like in three weeks or something. So I don't know what's going to happen. But if you want to hit me up, I'm on Twitter and IRC because I'm old. Um, but um, yeah, I guess we're done. Uh, so I don't know if there's questions. To be honest, I, I doubt there's going to be an interesting question, not to be a dick. Um, <laughs> but, but I'm sure there's similar stories that I'd love to hear. So if we have time and anybody has similar stories, please come tell them. That'd be great. I don't know how this works. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does someone bring you a microphone or? Uh, no crowd mics. Okay. What do you okay. I didn't hear you. You want to come talk in the mic? Are you a lawyer? Are you a Fed? Okay. <laughs> yeah, get on stage. Who else is coming up on stage? Come on, no, seriously, it's the last talk. Who gives a shit? I said what? Okay, so there's a term you should pay attention to called spoliation, okay. and not a lawyer. But what it means is that if someone knowingly alters data for a pending lawsuit, okay. the lawyer who's protecting or a part of that team who allowed it can lose their license at the bar at a minimum. 
and you automatically win your lawsuit, period. Does this mean I get a boat? Well, so when you collect evidence that their databases have been altered to alter the data from its original state to your VIN, they spoliated data for a pending lawsuit, which means the reason they were so happy to update you is to save themselves from legal hell. <laughs> Okay, so I would definitely take pictures of their records before or after the time that they charge you with these tickets. And you should definitely get yourself a lawyer, not because you need it, but because they do. <laughs> Anyone else? Yeah, come on, right up here. Or, or I can repeat if you want or what. Do boats have license plates? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he asked if boats have license plates. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they do. We'll call it the alcoholic and uh, we'll make it null. <laughs> Chicago. Noel is, Noel, Noel is available in the state of Illinois. If anybody is curious, everyone should get a Noel plate. It's fun. That's fun. <laughs> See, I had, I, I had. No, like no concerns. I thought their shit was solid. I didn't think anything was going to happen. So I just, I just wanted a cool plate. Cross my heart. <laughs> okay. This guy gets charged for other people's tags. What? What's your plate? In state of Virginia, an easy pass? It's just a random plate, and you get charged. What do you do? You don't pay it. Don't tell me you pay it. You had to pay some. Dude, let's team up. So. Yeah, yes, yeah, so, um, so yeah, the moment, the moment I got my first ticket and I actually paid it, I think what happened is then it was like, holy shit, we associated it finally. And, that, and now have an address and stuff. And uh, yeah, because some of those tickets are from like 2013. I didn't have the plate back then, 2014. Like they're really old and stuff. And then some were modern, you know. Um, but yeah, it, it, I didn't get them until after. Yeah, yeah, all from Newport Beach, California. Yeah. Is that everyone? The company? Oh, we don't want to talk about them. Uh, <laughs> I'm a paranoid. I'm a paranoid schizo. We don't want to talk about them. Uh, they owe me a phone. Uh, are we done? What? If it's big enough, can we host DefCon on it? <laughs> we can call it a uh, NolCon, DrugiCon. If you get a big enough bow, let's do it. PirateCon, let's go. Yeah. Are we good? Are you?